Nissan sees price parity for EVs and e-power vehicles. Auto dealer optimism is on the rise. A new way to get clean and more. Good morning, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. Welcome to First Shift. More on those headlines soon. But first, our lead story. Nissan sees price parity for EVs and e-power vehicles. The automaker is planning a next-generation electric powertrain lineup that will debut in 2026. The new tech will enable Nissan to achieve price parity between its internal combustion offerings and its e-power hybrid offerings. Nissan's newest electric powertrain advance will deliver an integrated unit that is 10% smaller in size and 30% less expensive to produce. Officials say the key to this strategy is increasing commonality and reducing complexity. Nissan also expects the overall manufacturing process to be cheaper for solid state. Lexus is in a bright spot in a recent J.D. Power survey. The dealer service survey shows the EV market leading to an overall decline in satisfaction. The growing volume of electric vehicles being serviced at dealerships has led to the first decline in service satisfaction in 28 years. But Lexus ranked the highest overall for a second straight year, with Porsche, Cadillac, and Infiniti behind Lexus. Among mass market brands, Mitsubishi ranks highest, followed by Mazda, Buick, and Subaru. You can read more on these stories in our newsletter, The Daily. To subscribe, go to the More section on our website and click Newsletters on the left side of the screen. After three quarters of declining expectations, auto dealer optimism rises in Q1. Recently surveyed franchises and independent car dealers are showing more optimism about their local vehicle markets. But according to the Cox Automotive Dealer Sentiment Index survey, their outlook for their markets three months in the future is still nowhere near the enthusiasm they carried for most of the last three years. BMW plans to invest $592 million in a UK mini plant. The automaker says the Oxford plant will produce the majority of next-generation mini models. The investment will include a £75 million grant from the UK government's Automotive Transformation Fund and will secure future production at the plant. That story from Bloomberg. A Hyundai Kia supplier must pay over $1.3 million in U.S. penalties that are tied to a worker's death. This is to address safety violations that follow the 2016 death of a machine operator at an Alabama manufacturing plant. OSHA cited Asian USA for 51 safety violations. Asian USA did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Cleaning up corporate offices, Honda plans to launch a new U.S.-made fuel cell vehicle next year. But now the automaker intends to use the technology on a second front, powering business offices and factories. The Japanese automaker recently began operating a fuel cell backup power station to demonstrate how the technology can serve as a cleaner alternative to diesel generators. Honda says the power station is a proof of concept that will help carve its path to zero emissions, with the goal of achieving carbon neutrality of all its products and corporate activities by 2050. That's all we have for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at first underscore shift and online at autonews.com for updates from our reporters all day, every day. I'm Laura Harris. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.